This is Loch Doon, or Balliol Castle, in East Ayrshire. The Balliol family were from Galloway, one of whom became King John I of Scotland. The castle used to stand on the island that's mostly submerged within the reservoir. It was shifted into its present position in 1935. It was actually a good thing that it was rebuilt in that it was in danger of imminent collapse. This was partly due to a landowner who'd taken stone from it to build himself a hunting lodge. When it was rebuilt on the mainland, the tower was not rebuilt. This was a 16th century structure, whilst the castle itself dates from the very early 14th century, if not the 13th. The castle is 11-sided, approximating to a circle, conforming to the shape of the original island it stood on. In the 1830s, a number of log boats made of oak were found close to the castle island, showing that one time a cranog, that is a, a loch dwelling, had been present there. A Viking battle axe was also found. A mid-18th century map makes a reference to the stupendous feat of getting the well-prepared stone from the mainland across to the island. It was very well made and shows every sign of being totally Scottish in construction. The quarry that provided the stone seems to have come from nearby the end of the loch. The castle has a well-protected main entrance gate, plus a smaller one known as a, a postern gate. The original portcullis, or yet, still lies in the bottom of the loch. It had been found during an ice spell when the, when the loch was frozen over, and attempts were made to recover it, however it broke through again. The remains of the tower can be seen. This was made of rubble, much poorer construction, and it can be seen that considerable damage has been done to the castle at some point, because some areas of well-worked stone had to be repaired with rubble. Much of the castle may have been built by the Earls of Carrick, a title that passed into the hands of the Bruce family, as in King Robert the Bruce. The castle is mentioned a number of times during the Wars of Independence. One incident was Sir Christopher Seaton, the brother-in-law of Robert the Bruce, fled to the castle after the disastrous Battle of Methven. However, the castle was handed over to the English and he was taken away and hung. The family who held the castle later were the Kennedys, although it was taken from them on occasions by such families as the Earls of Douglas and also the Crawfords of Leth Norris, later known as Dumfries House. Finally, King James V of Scotland took the castle after a siege and burnt it to the ground. After that, it ceased to be a fortified structure. <laughs>